Hey guys, it's John from Album Review TV. It's time for a review of Lady Gaga's third studio album. This one's titled Art Pop, and it's been in development for quite a while now. This is actually going alongside another project she's working on. This one, Art Pop, being the more pop, radio-friendly side of things that she wanted to explore, and so that's what I'm going to be reviewing here. The standard edition. You guys are always asking, like, why didn't you talk about the bonus tracks? I review standard editions, guys, and that's why I don't talk about the bonus tracks. I've mentioned this before, but I wanted to go ahead and put that out there again for anyone who didn't hear. Reinvented herself for Art Pop, definitely took on a different style with her last album, Born This Way. I wasn't really a fan. There was a few songs here and there. I liked Mary the Night, Judas, You and I. That one right there is a classic in my opinion. It just showed how diverse she really can be musically. And uh, I just thought that was a really beautiful song. And Gaga definitely has talent. I don't really care for all her publicity stunts and just the way, you know, she represents like herself and just for everything she does. I understand that's her thing and that's how she defines art. And that's really cool that she does that, but I'm not into that. I come for the music and that's what I'm into because she's always, for the most part, very creative and thoughtful when she like writes lyrics, you know, makes songs. It's not like every other pop artist out there. She usually tries very hard to differentiate herself from her peers. And she does that once again here on Art Pop. She has gone just synths galore and they're big crunchy synths on many of these songs. Opening tracks, like especially Aura, Venus, and then Guy, just those three perfectly, they fit perfectly together. It's three puzzle pieces that come together that make this like really good like trilogy of songs almost and just make for some of the most enjoyable tracks on the album. They punch hard, just break out these huge beats. Aura is definitely my favorite track on this record here as it fuses Gaga's like pop vocal sensibilities with these huge beats that almost sound like they were produced by Skrillex or someone else from this like trap or else dubstep scene. But they tone it down enough to make it like radio friendly. So I, I think it's pretty genius here on Gaga's part to make songs like this. She's more sexual than ever and is very open about expressing that and takes sex dreams, for example, with a bunch of X's after the sex on that title, just so you know, like how serious she is when talking about her sex dreams here. She opens up on that one and is just exploring fantasies on many of these tracks. Do What You Want is another one with R. Kelly featured on that track. Another one talking about her sexuality and just openness and doing what you want with my body. That's as she states in the hook for this song right there. She is just a monster at writing these huge, huge, huge sexy hooks that draw lots of people in. That's what I felt was missing from Born This Way. The sensibilities of the fame and the fame monster that she had found and invented her style with. It just, it kind of flowed away from that and borderline generic in many parts on that record. She brought on board a couple of big names here to feature on some of these tracks. I already mentioned R. Kelly, and then we've got the track Jewels and Drugs, which is also like very trap influenced. Once again, it features T.I. and Too Short and Twista on that track. Three big names in the rap scene, and it just mixes really well the way they do their verses. Gaga comes in and does a part, and then it switches back to a different rapper. I like that a whole lot. I really like the track Swine, as it fuses more of those huge synths and just four on the floor dance beats with comparing men to swine and saying all you are is a pig, so it's swine. Donna Tala breaks out these huge dance beats once again. It has this big build up to it that really crashes in. I like the way she presents that song and as a whole it definitely breaks out as one of my favorites here. She takes on like a kind of an alter ego almost on the track Mary Jane Holland which makes for another interesting listen. Fashion is one that I found a little bit less interesting. That one just did not follow Donna Tala, didn't really keep the like momentum going that she had at that point in the record and I, what was making things enjoyable just didn't work. Art Pop, the title track, is another one that I'm kind of torn on. The beat on that one almost sounds like something that could have been produced by Nine Inch Nails frontman Trent Reznor. Just, it sounds eerie on Art Pop and it is growing on me, so the title track 
give it time and I think that one is going to definitely grow on a lot of listeners such as myself here. And of course we have to talk about the singles Dope and Applause. Dope is one that I'm kind of on the fence about because she's just singing about like it's kind of a slower ballad style song saying that she needs someone more than dope and I'm not you know, I'm not huge into it. I just find that one a little bit too cheesy. I mean, some of these like songs, the lyrics, you know, yes, you have to give it to her. Yes, she's being creative and a little bit smart with it. But that one, it just kind of fell flat for me, honestly. And I don't know, I, I didn't feel like it was the best choice for a single preceding the release of Art Pop. But then we get to Applause, and on this track, she's talking about art and pop fusing together. She talks about these themes, especially like art, and just pop culture kind of fusing together and just like how it affects her and that sort of thing in many of these songs and applause I think was the perfect lead single now that I see it looking back on it at first I wasn't a huge fan of this track but now I'm seeing it in the context of wrapping up this record and being the final track I like this song more and more each time I hear it it reminds me of what I liked about old school Gaga, the fact that she was different, the fact that I could just kind of groove to it and it made me want to get out and like move and feel good. And she's being honest once again here on this track. She lives for the applause. We all know that sometimes we like to be the center of attention. Well, that's Lady Gaga for you in a nutshell. She loves being in the spotlight and she definitely addresses that and is just okay with it here in applause great dance song. I like that it kind of fused, I feel like, her earlier days, like the fame, with the sounds that she tried with like more of a synth pop and electro pop directions and sensibilities that she found here on this new record, Art Pop. Mix those two together and we get this awesome first single, Applause. Gypsy is another track that I didn't really care for. It felt like it kind of used a recycled EDM beat in my opinion and I'm not really a fan of that. So. That one just kind of fell in the middle of the road along with dope, fashion, manicure as being my least favorites. And then you've got like tracks like Art Pop where I'm gradually coming around on. And then I've got a lot of favorites on this one. Overall, this album is really a huge step up from Born This Way in my opinion. 4.5 out of 5 overall for me. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the new Lady Gaga LP and of course let me know what I should review next. And yes, I am planning on doing that lightning bolt Pearl Jam review ASAP. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button please and check out my Facebook, Twitter, vlog. All the links are in the description down below. I will see you guys very soon and make sure you subscribe. Album Review TV, Beyond the Reviews.